Hey everyone, Cody here. And recently I've been struggling with a question regarding YouTube. And it's basically this, should I continue to pursue YouTube? And the reason I ask this is because I have a couple of channels and none of them are really going anywhere. You know, this channel has a bunch of subscribers because to be honest, I tried to promote it and you know, I got a bunch of subscribers, but they weren't really people that watch the videos. So that's why I have a decent amount of subscribers, but not a lot of views. And so, you know, I don't think that trying to promote your channel, you know, on social media and stuff to try to get subs is actually a good idea because then you get a lot of people who might subscribe because you asked them to, but not because they're interested in the content. So just FYI. But anyway, coming back to, you know, that question, should I pursue YouTube? I've been kind of struggling with this the last few days, maybe the last week or so. And then I started wanting to ask God, like, God, should I pursue this? And I've been kind of asking him passively, but not actually just kind of soaking it in prayer. So I've been really conflicted about this. And the Bible says we we should not be double-minded, right? We should just kind of have an answer. But, it, you know, it's kind of frustrating if, you know, you get different ideas or maybe you ask someone and what they say is kind of conflicting with what you think. And it's not that they shouldn't challenge you, but sometimes you just, you know, you don't know if that's necessarily the right way to go. Anyway, I've been asking God, like, should I pursue YouTube? And I wasn't getting a clear answer. Now, if you watched any of my videos, you know that I believe that the Holy Spirit still speaks to us um, and the Holy Spirit is still active, living, active. Um, and he has spoken to me on many different occasions about different things. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, it's prophecy or any of that stuff, but the Holy Spirit just reveals things to me very quietly. And so last night, my wife and I attended an event where it was called the Night with the Holy Spirit at our church. And it wasn't exactly what I expected. I expected to go in and, you know, invite the presence of God and, you know, maybe see things happen. But it was actually more of a teaching of a lady kind of sharing how you can ask God questions and and wait on the Holy Spirit for an answer. And the actual technique um, I've never tried. So, you know, I was open to it, right? I don't want to pretend like I know everything just because I've heard from God um, or I, you know, I pray a lot. But, you know, I was kind of open to it. So, you know, we went. And the technique was interesting. And I want to share it with you because I think that the technique is good. In fact, I'm going to elaborate on it in a sec. But the technique is basically this. If you have a question and you want you know, you want to invite God into it and hopefully ask God to answer the question. First off, you bring a question to God that is not open-ended, right? Should I go here or here? Should I go to, you know, should I do this thing or this thing? Um, what do you think, God, about this, right? Not open-ended questions like that. However, bringing God, you know, yes or no questions, right? God, should I do this one thing? Or should I go to this one place? Or should I get involved in this thing, right? And so then once you have the question, um, you bring it before God. You say, God, you know, I'm, you know I'm, I want to know what you think about this thing. You know, should I do X, Y, Z? And then you wait on one of the answers. So yes or no. And you, you know, you would say, all right, Holy Spirit, is the answer yes? And you give it about 10 to 20 seconds to see if the spirit moves, to see if you feel any different, um, if you feel lighter, if you feel peace, if you feel like, you know, a certain peace or affirmation in that answer. Or and then it, then you wait a few seconds and then you go and present the other answer. So, you know, maybe it's no. And then you wait and you see if, you know, if something changes in you, if you feel different, um, if you feel like the Holy Spirit is you know, confirming that answer. And you do this three times. So, you know, you would yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. And you kind of challenge it. You see if you feel the same way each every time, or if uh, if you don't feel anything at all, or if you feel one way, you know, in one of the first responses, but not the second or third, that kind of thing, right? So you do it three times to kind of give you a measure of whether or not you feel like God is actually in that situation, like answering you. So we did this exercise. Now here was my question, because they challenged everyone to come up with a question to ask before God. And my question was, should I pursue YouTube? Like, would this honor God by pursuing YouTube? 
And the reason I, I say that is because sometimes I have done things for the wrong reasons. And I think we all have. Um, but I have done, you know, I have turned hobbies that I've had or, you know, ideas into ventures to make money because I was more interested in the money aspect as opposed to it being a creative outlet. And I've struggled with that for many years, talked about it many times. But anyway, so my question to God was, should I continue to pursue YouTube? So we go through the exercise and my wife was sitting right next to me and she had her question um, and it was more of a personal question. And so we go through the exercise. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. We go through the exercise and I didn't feel anything. I actually did not feel God confirming one way or another um, whether or not the answer, the question was answered. Like if he was, you know, answering me one way or the other. And, you know, the lady sharing it even said like, hey, you know, it does happen. Like maybe God is just waiting for you to bring it to him again. Um, or maybe he's just like, you know, maybe you're asking the wrong question and you have to kind of ask God, you know, is this even the right question? So there's different things you can do. But anyway, I didn't feel anything. Well, my wife, on the other hand, with the question she asked, she actually did feel the Holy Spirit move in the answer. And she felt it confirmed every time. She felt the same way every single time she presented one of the options to God. And she, she's like, yeah, no, I know for sure. Like, uh, there's a certainty that comes with it when you, when you feel an answer from God. When you hear from God, you, you know. Like, you just know. And um, so anyway, she felt confirmed in that. I felt nothing. And I was a little disappointed. But, you know, it's God. I'm not upset with God. I'm just, you know, I was just disappointed that I didn't hear anything. So, you know, for you, if you've never tried that, it's something to try. So, you know, present your request to God. You know, you would do yes or no first and then the other one. You wait about 10 to 20 seconds each one. Then you do it, you know, three total times. Anyway, so we get home. I don't feel anything. Whatever. I go to bed. And today I was, you know, I spent my day off doing stuff. And I was just in prayer just now. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to try this again and see if I feel God answer me. And so I did it. And, you know, I brought the request to God, God, should I pursue you too? Like, would this honor you? Is this okay? And, you know, I did the yes, no thing, yes, no thing, yes, no thing. And while I was doing that, I, I didn't feel anything in that, um, the yes, no thing. But as I was kind of going through the motion, then I felt the Holy Spirit bring a verse to mind. And the verse is one of my favorite verses. It's 1 Corinthians 10.31. For whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. And with the Holy Spirit, I feel like I'm going to cry because so excited and, and, and humbled. What the Holy Spirit highlighted to me in that verse was the whatever you do, glorify, do it all to the glory of God. And um, I just, I kind of broke in, in hearing that because it, it reminded me that like, you know what? A lot of the things that we can do, God is in. God, there are certain times and certain things that God wants us to do, right? You know, there are many times in the Bible where God has clearly called certain people to certain things. But there are other times where God is just in whatever that person is already doing and he can work out the good. And a lot of us, you know, we have a job because we have to support a family or we, you know, are in a certain vocation or a certain location or a certain, you know, group of people, a certain part of the, you know, world or whatever. We're in certain areas and we're like, God, what do you want me to do? You know, a lot of us want to be used by God. We want to have a purpose. We want to serve him and honor him. And we're like, what do we do? And out of that, God was reassuring to me that God is in it. If I put God in it, if I put this before God as an offering, if I do it all to the glory of God, and it is to honor his name, he is in it. And again, that just broke me. I am so elated and excited because this literally just happened like 20 minutes ago. And and I just, I you know, I was so humbled and excited. So I just wanted to share that because... Sometimes it's not about doing a specific thing for God. Sometimes God does call us and we should be asking God, what do you want me to do? But if we don't hear God answer that question in a certain thing, then maybe God just wants us to make sure he's in the things that we're already doing. And when we pull him into it, and if he's at the center of it and we can honor him through it the best that we can, then I think he's happy with what we're doing. So 
anyway, that is, uh, that's what I wanted to share. Very excited, very humble, very, I don't know, a lot of things. I just love God and, and I'm just very, very, very grateful. So anyway, wanted to share that and hopefully you took something away from this video. I will see you in the next one. Take care. God bless. Bye.